You in the dungeon palace, boy. <laughs> What's up guys, this is your boy DZD, aka The Drink Kank, Purple World Entertainment, and you are live inside the Dungeon Palace Studios, yet again. Thank you so much for tuning in, I really appreciate the support. If you have not hit that subscribe button yet, by all means do, hit that bell notification button, because you don't want to miss the content that I'm going to be bringing to you guys. Today I have a very good video, I'm going to show you how to level all your tracks in the MPC software, that way you know that your tracks are ready to be exported and you know they are at the highest quality that they can possibly be. So without saying too much, let's get it going. So we're inside the MPC software with our beat loaded, just a simple beat, just for the purposes of this tutorial. So I'm gonna let you hear what that sounds like. I want you to pay close attention to it so you can see how it's going into the red, which means that it's clipping and that's what we don't want. So I'll let you listen to the beat. that our track is distorting so when we export our files our sounds are gonna be too loud and we're gonna have to do a lot of things that way we can get those levels down to where we need to get them down to but I'm gonna show you a way to mix that very very quickly that way you can get everything leveled and your sound can be at the highest fidelity that it needs to be at that way you can mix your tracks very well and you can start that process on a good note so for this tutorial we're gonna use our mixer window so go down here and hit this icon here. And we're in our mixer window now, the MPC software. And this just basically tells us all our tracks that we have. We have our drum tracks here, all of our drum sounds, which it's not that many. And then down here we have our drum program, which is this first track, which is all of these tracks here, all in one track. So basically these tracks and this first track is the same exact thing. And then we have our instruments. We have our high sample, we have our low sample, and then we have uh, our bass and also our pianos, our, our piano. I'm going to show you how you can get these tracks leveled and get it to the exact spot that you need to be just with one simple plugin. So I want you to look at this. This isn't the plugin here. We're just using this as a reference. I want you to look at this peak meter. I'm going to solo just this kick drum here, which means all of the other all of the other drums will be muted, and then I'm going to mute all of the instruments. I just want that kick drum to play. That way we can see exactly what this, what our levels are doing. Let's mute all of the other the drums, I mean the, uh, the other instruments. And now let's, let, let's take a look at this kick drum and see where it is on this meter here. So this kick drum is pushing the red, pushing our meter all the way up past zero. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this plugin here. It's called the Hornet VU Meter MK3 plugin. And it's, for, it's by the same company as that first plugin. This, it all comes in a bundle, but this is the plugin that's actually going to do what we needed to do. And all this does is it gives you a good gain staging start so all your tracks can be at a full level and the volume fader doesn't deceive you. I'm going to show you exactly what that volume fader does if you don't watch it. Let's pull up our, our, our utility plugin and we can look at that meter again. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the volume fader and let you see how it works. Let's close up this plugin very quickly. I'm going to lower that volume fader and I want you to pay close attention. You would think that this meter would go down, but it doesn't. See, the sound has went down, but our meter is still fluctuating. That means that the sound itself is still at full level. We've just turned it down at the fader volume. So you can't let your faders deceive you if you, go, if, if you start lowering them and, and uh, pushing them up to get your sounds level. Your faders can easily deceive you because it's still pushing in all of your sound into your, into your plugins. So what we want to do is we don't want to lower it at the fader volumes. We want to keep all our faders at unity which is all untouched and we want to lower it at the track level that means that it's going to lower the actual sound and that's exactly what this what this what this uh this our plugin does 
So let's close this up and we're going to put the uh, volume back at Unity and then we're going to open up our plugin and we're going to set everything. Now how this plugin works is it's very very simple. It has a reference track that eight I had I'm sorry it has a reference sound and that's set at 18 dB meaning that that's the sweet spot that is going to reference all of your sounds and make sure that they're at that particular spot to where everything sounds good. In the, in the mixing world, that 18 dB sweet spot is where all of your plugins sound very, very nice. Not a lot of sound is going into them to where all of the plugins that you put on top of your sounds, it sounds very, very nice. So that's our sweet spot. And then here you have a gain and that we're going to turn that on. And you also have a meter so you can adjust. But all we wanted to do is just, ma is just make sure that we're, we're affecting just the gain, which is this meter here. Then we have our, our, uh, we have our, our metering here to where it's going to show us exactly what it's, what it's affecting. And we also have our max peak. Now we're going to set that at 12 dB. This can vary depending on what type of track you're working with, what sound you're working with. It can vary. But I'm going to set it at 12 dB because I like to have a lot of leeway to to uh to proceed with my mixing when I'm ready. And then we have this auto button and it's going to automatically calculate up everything that we've done once we hit it. We also have this VU meter we're telling this we want this to be set at 0 because that's telling the the plugin that this 12 dB we want it to actually be at 0 VU whenever the sound hits. We want it to be leveled at 0 VU. That way we aren't deceived by these faders and and their movements. Now we're going to turn on this auto and look at how it calculates everything very quickly. So let's play let's let's play the kick drum and see what it does. Instantly we see how it leveled out our, our kick drum to zero. It instantly did that. And which means that it's at a negative 17.2. That's that sweet spot of 18 dB that we wanted at, right in that sweet spot to where our plug-in, uh, anything that we do to this kick drum, it's actually going to be very, very nice and it's going to be very, 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 it's going to have a high fidelity quality sound. So now what we want to do is we want to get this plug-in on every single one of our tracks. That way it, it, uh, it does the same thing to all of our tracks. So we do that by hitting this group button here and we're going to put it at group one. That means that every single time we duplicate this plugin, as long as it's on group one, it's going to affect every single plugin. If we make a move on one, it's going to affect every single plugin. So let's do that. Let's duplicate the plugin to every single track. And we do that in the MPC software by holding down Alt and just moving, just dragging the plugin over. We're just going to click and drag it to every single track. Just make sure that it's after any effects that you have. We don't need to put it on our, on our drum program because that's that's all of these drums here. So we're gonna put we're gonna duplicate it to our instruments. Now it's on every track. And then we're gonna pull up another instance of the plugin. That way we can see it working on both tracks. We have our group set, we have everything set that we need to have it set. Now if we hit the auto button, it's gonna turn on the auto button on both tracks. If we turn it off, it affects both tracks. So now we're ready to gain stage our tracks. So let's unsolo the kick drum. That way all of our all of our drums play. And then we're going to unmute all of our instruments. We're going to hit auto and then we're going to play our track. Now our track is properly gain staged. It's referenced well. All of the sounds are nice. Everything is ready to be exported out of the MPC software into your DAW of choice, whether it's your Ableton, your Logic, whatever DAW you're using, you can export your stems in and you know for a fact that now your sounds are at a quality level and it's high fidelity. It's referenced well and now you can, you can begin your mixing at a very, very good level with all of your sounds. And if you want to check that, 
Let's look at our master volume that we looked at before up here in the corner. Let's play the track again. We have no more clipping and we have enough, enough headroom. So now we can start our mixing process, start adding our effects, anything we want to, and we're going to stay below the level that we want it to be at. So you always want to make sure that you gain stage properly. Just adjusting the, vol the volume faders, all that's doing is turning down the volume of the track. It's not turning down the actual sounds that are on the track. You don't want to deceive yourself with those volume faders, and all of a sudden, once you start putting your plugins on top of your track, your compressors and acting right, your analyzers aren't acting right, even your EQs can be off a little bit. So just make sure that your gain staging is nice, and then when you start your mixing and you start adjusting your volume faders, you know that you started off with the highest quality sound that you can possibly get. That concludes the video, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. The plugins that you saw in this video, the link for them will be in the video description so you can go download them for yourself. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, join the notification gang. That way you can stay up to date with the series of beat making videos that I'm going to be dropping real soon. Once again, this is your boy DZD, aka The Drink King, Purple World Entertainment, live from the Dungeon Palace Studios, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care.